Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Tyler, and this is Brain Gains. After what feels like a year since our last episode, we are live once again, except this time we're at home. So it's good to have you all here. We are going to be doing Brain Gains episodes live from my office for uh, you know every week for the next few weeks. So hopefully we will see you as we move forward. Uh, today we are talking about immunity and supplements and everything in between. So if you have questions about those, please feel free to throw those in chat. Don't forget this is an uh, open format show, meaning if you have a question or want me, to, want me to address something, put it in chat or you can email us at brain.gains at bodybuilding.com and I can get back to you from there. So I'm sorry that we don't have our, our usual like fancy set and cameras and lights and everything today. Obviously the circumstances have changed and so we wanted to bring you uh, the ability to a uh, ask questions about supplements and fitness, but unfortunately we couldn't do that from our headquarters. So here we are. So uh, today, like I said, we're talking about immunity. We're talking about supplements to support your immunity and, and how you can help yourself stay active uh, while staying at home. So uh, I look forward to talking about that. We're gonna touch on multiple different points today. And if you wanna learn more or something uh, specific, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, I promise uh, we've had a lot of great questions in the past and, and, and uh, I look forward to answering those for you. So a uh, quick note about who I am and, and, and why I'm doing this here. So my name is Tyler. I work at bodybuilding.com and I work in the regulatory compliance department. Uh, it's my job there to make sure that I understand how all of our supplements work. So I am one of the uh, one of the team members that works to study the science behind the ingredients that we put in our products. So I look at all the clinical studies. I look at uh, 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 all of the formulations for products that are coming in and all of the marketing that goes along with those products. And it's basically my job to make sure that the products that we give to you are going to do what we say they are going to do. So. Uh, Basically, yeah, I want to make sure that our products are efficacious. I want to make sure that they're safe and I want to make sure that you're not going to buy something that's going to promise something that it can't follow through with. So we're going to start today talking about immunity kind of at a, at a, at a you know, 5,000 feet. What is your immunity? How does it work? And then we're going to move into supplement questions from there. Uh, how do they work and how do they support those immune functions as well? So your immunity is split into basically two parts. You have your innate immunity and your adaptive immunity. So innate immunity is kind of the, the overarching large structural barriers between you and anything that might want to get into your body and do something bad. So things like skin, your mucous membranes, uh, uh, the other different types of membranes around your cells. These are things that your body has that are defenses against uh, anything foreign getting into your body. Right, so the skin is your, is your body's largest organ and its main job is to make sure that unwanted things can't get in. And so that's why when we have issues with um, respiratory viruses, which are very common right now, they are most active when they can bypass your skin, go into your lungs and, and activate there. So uh, secondly, we have our adaptive immunity. So adaptive immunity is something that the body uses in order to uh, make itself immune to pathogens that it has seen in the past. So we have uh, cells in our body called T and B lymphocytes, and it's their job to recognize pathogens and then attack pathogens that they have seen in the past. So what would happen is if you get sick with a certain strain of, uh, of a pathogen, your body can see it and say, okay, this is what it looks like. I now know that this pathogen is bad. And so in the future, it can recognize that pathogen and attack it uh, and hopefully keep you from getting sick from it twice. So anyway, the, that's the very, very surface level uh, of how your immune system works. Uh, I am not an immunologist nor an expert in uh, the field of immunity, but uh, <clears throat> hopefully that gives you a little bit better an idea of how that works. So we have a couple of questions right off the bat. Uh, what are the best bulk? Uh, so, okay, I'm kind of all right. So it looks like we have a couple of them that are questions that are not quite about immunity. We'll address those uh, in a little bit. Um, but actually, no. Let's just jump right in. Uh, Aaron from YouTube says, "What are the best supplements to shred and bulk at the same time?" So, Aaron, there is no supplement that is going to magically make you gain muscle and lose weight at the same time. The, the act of gaining muscle while losing fat is a very complicated process because you're telling your body to, to, to do two very different things at once. Uh, you're telling it to build in one place and then take away from another. And so the, the best way you can go about that is to make sure that you are lifting hard and heavy with a very structured periodized workout program. And then also making sure that your calories are uh, only very slightly over what they should be. So when you are in a calorie deficit, your body is going to have a very hard time building anything. Uh, it is always going to be looking for something to break down so that it can get the calories that it needs. But if you are lifting heavy 
uh, and lifting hard and lifting often, you are going to be telling your body enough that it needs to build its muscle back up. You just need to give it the calories to support that growth. You just need to not go so far over on those calories that you're also gaining fat mass at the same time. Now, like I said before, gaining muscle and losing fat mass at the same time is a very, very delicate balance and is very unique to the person who's doing it. So if you want to uh, really uh, walk that fine line, I recommend hooking up with a, uh, a trainer or a nutritionist, someone who can look at your body metrics and make those or help you make those decisions. Maria says, I'm caffeine sensitive, but I need something that will help me with my workouts. Can I recommend one? Yeah, we actually have a lot of non-simulant pre-workouts. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead two weeks from now. We actually have a show planned, uh, another Brain Gains like this for two weeks from now about, um, or actually maybe three weeks from now, sorry. But one of our topics for Brain Gains from Home is non-stim exercises or exercise um, um, uh, ergogenic supplements. So non-stim pre-workouts and uh, uh, vasodilators and such. But the, the quick message is going to be you're going to look for things like beta alanine. You want to look for things like citrulline or uh, uh, creatine is another thing. Uh, these are all ingredients that help improve your workout, but don't give you any caffeine. Uh, but it's a super common question, so don't be worried. What's my opinion about taking creatine? Albert from YouTube, my opinion about taking creatine is 100% positive. Uh, there are just, there's so much data on creatine being effective and so much data on it being safe over a long period of time uh, that I definitely recommend you give it a shot. Uh, it's five grams a day as long as you want to take it. Um, if you're taking five grams a day, it usually takes about two to three weeks to like really start working. But as long as you're taking it, you're giving your muscles more energy to do the things that you want to do in the gym. So you're giving them more energy to lift. You're giving them more energy to sprint. You're giving your body more energy to increase the intensity of your workouts so that you get more benefit from those workouts. So that's good. All right, last one before we move forward. Uh, Anthony, what is the ideal supplement lineup for weight loss? Uh, so as we've talked about on this show multiple times, one of the, you know, the number one thing you need to be thinking about when you're uh, looking to lose weight is your diet. And I know that's not the answer that a lot of people want to hear. And your question is very specifically about supplements, but I want to contextualize this a little bit. Uh, understanding your diet and making sure that your macros are on point. Use the bodybuilding.com macro calculator and figure out where you need to be when it comes to carbs, proteins, and fats. Start there because that hurdle is easily the tallest one for so so many people and making sure you have that nutrition plan on point before you go into any supplements is so important because it really doesn't matter how much caffeine and yohimbi and, and whatever that you take uh, alongside your workout if your diet sucks it's it's just not going to work um, and there's plenty of evidence to prove that so make sure that your diet is on point get a high protein diet Stay away from the, the simple carbs. Make sure you're working out well and uh, efficiently and often. You know, Make sure you have that calorie deficit going along with a high-protein diet. And then you can start thinking about fat-burning products. Uh, you know, there's some great thermogenic ingredients. Uh, paradoxine is an ingredient that we've seen a lot of really great success from when it comes to increasing your body temperature. Uh, we've also seen you know, good results from caffeine because it gives people more energy to go do the things that they want to do instead of staying home and away from the gym. Uh, Bodybuilding.com has tons of different thermos that you can look through. The problem with thermos is that a lot of them are very high stem. And so we talked about non-stem products before. So make sure you have a clear understanding of where your body sits in regards to how it responds to stimulants and then uh, start slowly and then work into them from there. So I'm sorry, I can't give you like the full on answer, but uh, there you go. Okay. So before we move on to more questions, guys, I see you. And I thank you so much for everyone who's putting those in. Uh, we'll get to more of those in just a moment. So, uh, remember we talked about the immune system a bit ago, and we're going to talk about a couple of ingredients that I think are pretty helpful when it comes to, uh, supporting that immune system. Before we go into the specific ingredients though, I'm going to do my job as a compliance officer at bodybuilding.com and say that there are some rules when it comes to how companies, uh, uh advertise their ingredients. So there is a very strict rule from the FDA that says you cannot claim anything about your supplement that would equate it to a drug. Uh, so you cannot say that your vitamin C uh, keeps you from getting sick. You can't say that your vitamin D protects you from a certain disease because those are things that drugs do. And there is a very hard and fast rule that says a supplement cannot act as a drug. And so if you ever see someone try and sell you a product that says, this is gonna keep you from getting COVID-19, you should probably stay away from the, those products because A, they almost definitely won't, and B, those people are breaking the law and we don't wanna support people breaking the law. So 
anyway, that's uh, my little spiel about compliance there. If you guys have compliance question, throw those in chat too, because we do that every day. So vitamin C, uh, if you don't know, vitamin C is a super important vitamin uh, that is available in leafy greens and tomatoes and citruses and so many other great sources. But if you need to get it in a pill, uh, it's available there as well. Uh, but it helps both the innate and the adaptive immune system like we talked about previously. Now its role in how it helps those lymphocytes uh, within your body is a little bit less clear, but it has been shown to enhance the differentiation, which is, um, the splitting and then kind of recoding, uh, and then also proliferation, so the growth and, and, and multiplication of B and T cells. So remember we talked about B and T cells being a part of the adaptive immunity. So uh, vitamin C does help your body adapt to new pathogens so that you can uh, potentially stay more safe in the future. Uh, and then finally, vitamin C is also a very strong antioxidant. Uh, we're gonna talk about antioxidants quite a bit, but basically, um, the, the, you know, there are a lot of things within the environment that can cause what are called oxidative species to form. And an oxidative species uh, is basically an oxygen that is negatively charged with an extra electron. And a lot of people are like, hey, it's oxygen, it can't be so bad. Uh, but actually a, a, an oxygen that, is, that has an extra electron on it has the ability to wreak havoc inside of your cells, uh, particularly on your DNA and then a couple of uh, different enzymes. When that extra electron gets close, uh, it can actually transfer uh, in such a way that it makes it so that your cell can't do what it wants to do. And so the more antioxidants that we have, the more oxygen or oxidative species scavenging uh, ingredients that we have, the less of that damage that we see. So I'm sure you've heard of antioxidants before, but that's kind of the gist of what they do. Uh, a couple more questions before we move on. Uh, let's see. Does a full spectrum hemp uh, help with the immune system? Almost as a immune system air quotes booster, Richard from Facebook. I don't know of a lot of evidence that supports that. I know we're seeing a lot of hemp products coming out right now because hemp and CBD are like all the rage these days, uh, especially since the farm bill back in 2018. Uh, but so the problem with hemp and with CBD is that because before the farm bill passed in 2018, 2018, because the farm bill passed very recently, no one has been able to study those ingredients with any sort of efficiency because hemp was technically under schedule one and schedule one means that no one is allowed to research it even for medical purposes because you know the, the definition of schedule one means there's no medical purpose for this ingredient uh, and so since hemp has now been differentiated from marijuana and taken off and, and now it is considered a non-schedule one ingredient now people can start researching it but the problem is is it just hasn't been very long and so we don't have a lot of evidence that shows that hemp ingredients do a lot of the things that I see uh, the claims for. Now we have theories and we have an understanding about um, the about cannabidiol and about the cannabinoid system on which hemp and CBD work, but we don't really have a lot of you know hardcore straight evidence that shows a direct relationship between consumption of those ingredients and the outcomes that we see a lot on products. So right now we're in kind of a holding pattern because we just want to learn more. I don't want to make any claims about ingredients that I don't know for sure about. Uh, because that that's just not a good idea. Uh, so anyway, sorry, I can't give you a better answer there, but the answer is we just don't know yet. Uh, does dairy have a negative effect on the immune system? The only negative effect I know of for dairy is people who are lactose intolerant, and that's not really an immune system response. That's just the lack of an enzyme called lactase within your body. Uh, but I don't know of any negative effect that milk or, or any other dairy products would have on your immune system. Uh, if you do know of something, uh, please feel free to email me, brain.gains at bodybuilding.com. Sorry, I forgot to put the email up right there for you. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, send me questions. Or if you if you find something that I said that's not correct today, please feel free to email me there and we can correct it on next week's episode. Uh, so there you go. I guess I should put my name up there too. Look at that, guys. I did it. Anyway, okay, more questions. Can you recommend any protein shake for building muscle? You know, as a matter of fact, I can. I actually know of a really great company. Uh, Bodybuilding.com makes a wonderful whey protein uh, shake. And the reason I know that is because I actually got to help uh, flavor the product. I was on the panel that helped decide how things were going to taste. But if you go to bodybuilding.com, type in whey protein, look for our signature series. There are two flavors that I think are really good. The mocha cappuccino and the oatmeal cookie are both crazy good. So make sure you check those out. They have really good macros. They taste great. They mix really well. I'm a little biased though. Uh, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh, which supplements are important for immunity during exercise? I'm super glad you asked. That's going to lead us right into our next uh, uh, vitamin that we're going to talk about. And that's vitamin D. 
Uh, so for those who have not heard of vitamin D, uh, it is important, again, to both innate and adapted immunity. Uh, we normally see vitamin D sourced from lanolin, lanolin, like sheep's wool. Uh, but it is, it is something that you do have to consume in order to get enough of. You know, vitamin D is super important to getting calcium into your bones, making your immune system work the way it should. The problem is our body can make vitamin D, but it only makes it in the presence of sunlight. I know that's super weird that, that we're, you know, dependent on the sun in such a way, but sunlight is super important to your body's ability to make vitamin D. And that is particularly important for everyone who lives north of what's called the 37th parallel. So if, if it is winter time, and thankfully it's becoming more sunny, uh, but if it is winter time especially, and you live north of the 37th parallel, that means if you live north of San Francisco, north of, uh, you know, anywhere in Europe, anywhere in Russia, or actually south, if you live south in this very southern tip of South America, you are in a zone that generally gets less sunlight, so that in the winter time, even if you are outside, the sunlight is so indirect that it's just not very useful you may be not getting enough vitamin D. And so supplementing with it is super duper important. This is especially relevant uh, these days when so many of us are staying inside like for days and weeks at a time. Guys, I've been inside so much, it's crazy. Uh, so vitamin D is, is really important to supplement with because it's so dependent on you being out and about and living your life and going out into the sun and, and you know, just being away from your desk at home. So uh, make sure you get it. You know, if, if you feel like you fit into those categories, if you're not able to leave your house very often, if you live super far north and are not seeing the sun very often, vitamin D may be a really uh, awesome supplement for you to check out. Uh, okay, why spend money on pre-workouts or bulking subs when you can eat right and get natural gains? Justin, it's a super great question. Uh, and the reason that uh, we recommend supplements for people is because not everyone is capable of getting a full and balanced diet. And some people feel like they are able to work out with greater intensity thanks to supplements like pre-workouts. So things like stimulants, things like beta alanine and creatine and uh, uh, citrulline, these are all ingredients that enhance the workout, that take what you are motivating yourself to do already and taking it you know, one or two clicks forward beyond where you would have been able to otherwise. And there is data that shows that consuming products like pre-workouts does make it so that the workouts that you can do are actually stronger and more intense and thus more effective than they would be otherwise. Now, when it comes to things like gainers, gainers are simply for an efficiency standpoint, dollars per calorie. Uh, so when you are trying to bulk and you're trying to intake 3,000, 4,000 calories a day, Think about the amount of money it would take for you to reach that number of calories per day with the right macronutrients. And it becomes very complicated very quickly. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it is expensive. And so for some people using supplements like gainers or using supplements like pre-workouts, it is not a need, it is an enhancement. It is a way to supplement what is already an effective diet, an effective training regimen, and just taking it to the next level from there. Good question. All right, uh, let's see. What supplements are there that are important for me for uh, for someone who doesn't eat any vegetables? I'm super glad that you that you asked, Ronan from YouTube. Uh, one of the products that we're talking about today is actually a greens product. So we have a couple of different greens products on site that are basically extracts from dozens and dozens of different uh, uh, vegetables and, and fruits and other uh, green ingredients, all kind of narrowed into a single either drink or capsule or what have you but it's a way for you to get the strong antioxidant properties and some of the strong uh, micronutrients from those greens and get them all in one, you know, either tasty drink or, or capsule all at once. Now this does not replace fruits and vegetables. They come with um, even stronger amounts of the different micronutrients that come with them along with a ton of fiber that's also very good. Um, you know, we're big proponents for fiber being very healthy and fruits and vegetables are a wonderful source for those things and greens products tend to struggle when it comes to uh, fiber intake and that's because if you were to get all the fiber from all those greens all at once your pro your stomach probably wouldn't like it but greens products are awesome for these uh these times because you know the strong antioxidant properties remember we talked about antioxidants under vitamin c you're getting a ton of that with your greens products and you're also getting those micronutrients that come with vitamins and, and minerals as well uh, Elder God on YouTube asks, I used to take creatine mono, but it requires me to drink too much water for it to work. I want to take ester or crealcaline advice. Uh, I have no problem with the uh, ethyl ester or the uh, crealcaline. They are all creatine sources. And from my understanding, creatine is basically creatine. 
there, there's nothing that tells me that the ester or the crealkaline or even the HCL that we see um, on site as well, there's nothing to say that those aren't just as effective. We just don't know as much about them. So we, we always talk about monohydrate just because we have all this evidence that shows that it's effective. And there is evidence for something like crealkaline. I know they've looked at crealkaline and its effectiveness. I know uh, some companies have looked at, at creatine hydrochloride as well. Uh, and shown that it is effective. The problem is, is, is you're, you're talking uh, three to five studies that show that they're effective versus like hundreds of studies for, for creatine monohydrate. I'm not saying it's not effective. I'm just saying that just the volume of evidence is different. And so I feel a lot more comfortable recommending monohydrate. But if you feel like monohydrate is not sitting well with you and requires you to drink too much water, then, then please try, it, try a different version, see how you feel, and maybe you'll find something that is just as effective, but works better for you. Uh, okay, so best multivitamins. So multivitamins a lot of times are all shooting for the same thing. Uh, they want to get you 100% of your RDI for all the different vitamins and minerals, and that's that's great. Um, so you kind of have to look at you know what multivitamin is, is getting you those RDIs, is filling in those nutritive gaps that you have, and is doing so cost-effectively, is doing so um, consistently. Their manufacturing is strong. Their uh, you know, have a strong history of uh, high quality products. And so, you know, the, the, I, I guess just watch out for shady brands in general, but if you have a, a brand that you trust like bodybuilding.com and they have a, a, a multivitamin, the, the odds are that they have vetted the manufacturer, which means they vetted the ingredients. That means that you're probably getting the micros that you need to be getting through those products. So, uh, try one out, see what you think. And, uh, if you don't like it, there are, there are so many on the, on the market that you can uh, try out from there. Uh, let's see what type of protein shake or drink do you recommend? There's so many out there. Uh, Joel, I talked about this a little bit earlier. My take is a little bit biased because I helped make the bodybuilding.com signature whey protein. I love it. It's great. Um, try the oatmeal cookie because it's seller. It's also, we are, we are, uh, just past our bodybuilding.com birthday. Uh, we had our birthday celebration last month. If you haven't tried the birthday cake protein, it is also really, really good. So, uh, okay. We're going to move on to one final ingredients, uh, before we go. Remember guys, um, my name is Tyler and we're talking about immunity ingredients today, supplements, what your immunity does to work and how we can support it. Uh, I work with the compliance team at BBCom. So if you have any questions about ingredients, how they work, uh, uh, or how, you know, I do my job in regulatory compliance at bodybuilding.com, please feel free to ask those in chat as well. All right. So one other thing that we're going to talk about today are probiotics. So probiotics are, uh, uh supplements that contain, uh, usually live, uh, bacteria. So, I know that's super weird to say, but a probiotic is, is a live strain of bacteria or multiple strains of bacteria that you can consume to help increase the amount of good bacteria that live within your gut. So uh, I, I don't know if everyone knows this, but it is pretty common that bacteria live within uh, your digestive tract, many different strains, many different bugs, all working to help you digest uh, the foods that you eat. The problem is that sometimes the balance of good versus bad can become a little tilted. And so we uh, recommend probiotics to help tilt the scales back towards uh, those good uh, uh, bugs in there so that you can uh, maintain a high degree of health. There's also good evidence that shows that these probiotics can help outcompete some of the bad uh, bugs. So if you were to consume something that uh, maybe contains uh, the less helpful uh, bacteria, these good bacteria that you are now filling your system with can outcompete any new ones that try and get introduced. Uh, this is not a 100% like end all solution for getting sick. I don't want to say that ever, uh, but having good uh, bacteria in your gut can improve your chances of, of staying healthy and, um, you know, maintaining a nice regular flow through all things. So uh, check out probiotics. We've got tons of them on the site. Make sure you check them out. Um, it is not always the product that has the most CFUs that is the best. So we see a huge range in the volume of, of different strains that we see in a product anywhere from like uh, uh, 200 million CFUs. CFU is a colony forming unit, and that's usually how we see probiotics labeled. So we see anywhere from like 250 million CFUs all the way up to like 50 billion, which is obviously significantly more. Uh, and the evidence around like how much CFUs, how much probiotic you're supposed to take is everywhere. Like uh, th there's no like hard and fast, like this is how much you need. Uh, I've seen all the way from low to high being effective. Uh, so as with a lot of my other recommendations, I recommend you find one from a company that you trust, try it out. And if you love it, keep using it. If you don't love it, then try something else.
All right, uh, let's answer a couple more questions before we start coming to the end uh, today. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Angelica, any suggestions on what supplements for females to maintain muscle and burn fat? So Angelica, uh, I'm not sure if you caught our talk a little bit earlier in the show uh, about uh, gaining muscle and losing fat at the same time can be a huge challenge. Um, and this is not exclusive to men. This is a, this is a, a human problem, not a male problem. Uh, so if you are looking to gain muscle and lose fat, your first job is to make sure that your nutrition is on lock. Make sure you have a high protein diet with limited amounts of simple carbs uh, and limiting the amounts of saturated fats and staying away from those fast foods and stuff. Use the macro calculator that we have on site in order to figure out what your best macro split is for you. Then make sure you are working out hard and consistently. Uh, and if you are ready for it, follow a periodized exercise resistance program to make sure you are putting the uh, 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 effort into getting your muscles to grow themselves. After that, then you start thinking about uh, supplements from there, but getting that baseline of nutrition and exercise in first will get you 95% of the way there. So start there. And if you have more questions about where to go once you're already far down that road, please feel free to email us. Uh, remember, we are at brain.gains at bodybuilding.com. Uh, I check that email pretty much every day. I'm always happy to answer questions there. So please send us an email and uh, we'll get back to you and we can talk a little bit more specifically because I don't know about your, uh, um, your metrics. I don't know uh, uh, what your specific needs are. So hopefully we can help you via email there. Uh, Jen asks, whey protein versus isolate. They're largely similar. The difference is that isolate has had as much sugar and fat removed from it as possible. The problem is, is that fat and sugar taste really good. And so isolate proteins generally don't taste as good, but they do have lower calories. And so if you feel that the, those 20, 30 calories per shake are worth that shake not tasting as good, then go with the isolate but concentrate, uh, whey concentrate or whey proteins, they're generally a bit cheaper and they generally taste a bit better at the cost of 20 to 30 calories per serving. So that is up to you. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, do we have protein shakes that are WADA approved? I don't know of any protein shakes that are n like not WADA approved because protein is not a WADA banned ingredient at all. Uh, it's just, you know, protein is a food. Now, that being stated, make sure you talk to your coach, your supervisor, whoever it is that you're exercising with, and make sure that, you know, they have a chance to know whatever it is you're consuming. But if you're just consuming protein shakes, my understanding is that you're pretty much fine. Uh, I'm using soy protein. Does it incre increase estrogen in men? To my knowledge, it does not. Uh, I, I've, I've seen lots of evidence that shows that that is a myth. Uh, if there is evidence out there that shows that soy protein increases your body's estrogen, please feel free to send it to me and I'll correct myself later. But to my knowledge, consuming soy protein should not have any negative effects on men. Uh, does glutamine help you lose fat faster? Nope. Glutamine is just an amino acid. It's super important to your immune system, actually, because your immune system uses glutamine uh, to help create energy for itself. But glutamine itself does not have any inherent effects that help you lose fat. So be aware of that. All right, uh, we have a ton more questions and unfortunately we're running short on time, so I'm gonna have to cut it off right there. Uh, thank you to everyone who had a chance to drop those into chat. And if I didn't get to yours, again, please feel free to email me, brain.gains at bodybuilding.com. I'm gonna pop that one up one more time. So right there, brain.gains bodybuilding.com. Send me a question there and we will uh, we can get you back or um, you know if we run out of questions next week, we can uh, cover it then. Uh, but yeah, send me an email there. Okay, so before we go, I have been asked to uh, cover a few of the new products that we have on site that may be relevant to what it is that we're talking about today. Uh, so... Uh, first of all, we have a new product on site from our exclusive brand, Alpha Lion, called Superhuman Armor. Uh, so this is a 30-serving product uh, that contains the Spectra Antioxidant Greens Blend, uh, as well as the uh, immunity-supporting uh, ingredient called Epicor. So if you want to jump into an exclusive product that is only available on bodybuilding.com, make sure you check out Superhuman Armor right there. Uh, all right, so next, uh, our, our good friends at EVL have an awesome vitamin C product. If you're looking to support your body with vitamin C, make sure you check out uh, EVL. Theirs is a 90 serving for pretty low cost, so make sure you check out EVL. If you want to consume your vitamin C not as a pill but as a powder, uh, Nutribio actually has a vitamin C powder that you can mix into whatever it is that you're consuming that day. This is probably pretty good for like smoothies. Uh, 
fair warning, I have no idea what vitamin C tastes like. I have a, I've had the opportunity to taste a lot of raw ingredients. So I would be able to say like, watch out, or maybe this is good with this. I have no idea what vitamin C tastes like. So please be aware uh, that it may add a flavor or not to whatever it is you're consuming. But that is a super good deal when it comes to volume. You get 240 servings of vitamin C out of that thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we have the Optimum probiotic gummies so watch out for these bad boys 30 servings of tangerine flavor uh with probiotics but you can have them in gummy flavor it's really cool that gummies are becoming kind of part of the supplement world we're figuring out how to get these really great ingredients into uh gummy products so they can be a little bit more enjoyable so you're not just pounding pills all the time so yeah check out optimum probiotic pills or sorry probiotic gummies um, they're worth checking out and they taste really good and then finally we talked about greens products today pharma freak has a really good greens product called the greens freak uh it is super extensive um when it comes to ingredients and it comes in sweet apple and vanilla chai so if you want to check out a greens product that is not a bad place to start so um anyway let's go down here we have a couple of sales going on right now we have up to 35 percent off of bbcom signature stuff um I, you mentioned I, I i talked about the bbcom way i talked about our thermogenic and our multivitamin up to 35 percent off on those so cool and then there's also a buy one get one on selected brands that include the evl like the vitamin c i talked about there and then also caged muscle if you like caged uh their pre-workout is really good uh, before I go, I did want to do a quick plug. Uh, we just uh, released a new trainer for those that are a part of BodyFit. Uh, it's called Lean at Home, and it is two weeks, six workouts that are all body weight with supersets and intervals that combine resistance training and cardio movements, but it's perfect for those who are at home that don't have any equipment. Uh, I know a lot of us are stuck looking for something to do besides running around the block uh, and doing push-ups. So this is, a, this is a program that focuses on all body movements with no equipment, uh, and it'll still knock you on your butt. So be prepared. This is a, a pretty solid program. Again, two weeks, six different workouts that you can try. And even though the program is only two weeks long, you can do it as much as you can because these uh, exercises never go out of style. So lean at home, make sure you check it out. And if you do decide to check it out, make sure you tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see you guys uh, um, doing that there. Finally, next week, we are uh, talking about a different topic. We are talking about stress, how you are dealing with it, uh, how to help yourself sleep, or how do you how do you stay relaxed in the midst of all this stressful stuff? If you have tips that you want featured on next week's episode, we're going to be coming right back here this time next week, talking about dealing with stress, helping yourself stay relaxed. If you have tips about those, again, tag us on Instagram, and we want to feature some of those on this episode next week. We would love to hear from you. Next, uh, sorry, Sunday, this Sunday, it's Mother's Day. Guys, make sure you call your mom this Sunday, or call your sister who is a mom, or call your friend who is a mom, or call your grandma. Call your moms on Sunday. It's Mother's Day. Love to see it. Guys, thank you so much. That's all we have for today. My name is Tyler, and we will see you next week on Brain Gains. And until then, keep on lifting. Whatever you've got, bring it out. I want the best of everything. If you want it, you're going to be successful. So when she gets to the top, the dumbbells are horizontal again. Those are perfect. This is where you leave the excuses, and you make some real change. You're going to get in, you're going to get out, and you're going to get the best workouts of your life. Three, two, one. Here we go. Together we're stronger. Trust me.